Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. First of all, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you, right? So guys, these days I can completely understand many freshers, especially freshers I would say, are facing lots of challenges, difficulties in getting a job opportunities. Even I am getting multiple messages over LinkedIn, over Telegram and on my Instagram page as well that many people, many freshers are looking for the opportunities, right? So I can understand this is the tough time because at that scenario there was the time where multiple companies were hiring and now most of the companies are on hiring freeze. So this is a tough time but definitely if you will have patience things will be better soon. Well, I recently I came across a story, a story of a student which will definitely help you to understand that if you have the patience, if you are working hard for something, definitely today or tomorrow you will get it. Well, this student is a, uh, you know, is uh, has completed his graduation, has completed the B.Tech and after that he started preparing for U UPSC. So he has given his two years starting two years post after graduation for the preparation of UPSC but then somehow he figured it out okay I should be in corporate right because uh, this is something you know uh, we devote some time for some exam preparation as he devoted his two years but later on he figured it out that okay I should be in corporate I should be in industry software industry right now he invested his two years and that brought a career gap right there are certain companies which don't even allow you if you are having a career gap then how did he manage to get into it how did he manage to get a job right so i believe this story of his is going to be a motivation for you this will tell you that how he managed the things what was the strategy that he followed so make sure to be with me till the end of this video right so guys let's get started Thank you so much Rahul for accepting my invitation and being here on my channel. It's a pleasure to have you here. Can you please start with your introduction? Hi everyone, I am Rahul. I am from Dalhousie, Himachal Pradesh. I completed my schooling from Kendriya Vidalaya Dalhousie in non-medical stream. And after that, I completed my graduation in computer applications. Presently, I am working as a software developer at Idea Foundation. So as you specified that you were preparing for UPSC, then how did you get into the corporate? How did you get into this job? Can you please specify your journey till here? So after my graduation actually, uh, I was clear that I want to prepare for the UPSC civil services. So that's why I did not, you know, uh, completed any sort of internship during my graduation or after my graduation. And I even did not attend any sort of placement drive after my graduation. So I prepared for the UPSC from uh, December 2020 to 2023. I gave some attempt. Uh, unfortunately, the result was not in my favor. So after that, I decided that I want to come back in the IT sector. So to do that, uh, what I did, uh, I, decided, I decided that I, I will directly apply for the jobs online through online job portals. But the problem was that each and every HR there of companies, different companies told me that Rahul, you do not have any, any sort of internship experience. Please go do some internships and then we will talk. So it was like a challenge for me here sort of, because in today's world, it is very difficult to, you know, get a get an internship even after two years of care. So I decided that uh, to do that, I need to, you know, to work on my skills first and then I will secure an internship. So, I, so to do that, I decided that I will pursue some sort of future development course in web development because I decided that I will, uh, you know, start my journey in web development now. So I was looking for some, you know, online opportunities that uh, through which I can get some uh, certification in web development. I found that, that many institutes and platforms are, uh, you know, providing some full stack development courses, but I was looking for specifically a well reputed platform for my full stack development course. So I believe that Internshala is one of them. So I decided uh, finally that I will pursue this course through Internshala. Ultimately, I completed this course and uh, now I'm working as a software developer at Idea Foundation, as I mentioned. So this is the full stack development course with guaranteed placement that Rahul was talking about right so here you can read about this is the top companies that are hiring through Internshala which is a very renowned platform here is the course highlights provided live classes live 
डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशन 24/7 सपोर्ट असाइनमेंट मॉड्यूल टेस्ट इंडस्ट्री लेवल प्रोजेक्ट्स इंडस्ट्री रिकॉग्नाइज सर्टिफिकेशन डाउनलोडेबल कंटेंट ज्वाइन द रिवॉल्यूशन हियर यू कैन सी uh what other students has to say and how they have been selected here's the guaranteed internship program that they'll be providing to you and here's the top career options in full stack development placement guarantee course so you can have a look about it you can become a full stack developer software development engineer front end developer back end developer right so here you can see about the complete content that they'll be providing you in this particular course front end web development back end web development skills that you will be learning mongodb mysql apis react javascript html and css here's the faculty because they are going to play a major role during this journey so here you can read about them as well so right guys it's an amazing opportunity for you right to so do enroll in the program the link for the course is given in the description itself so do have a look uh as you were a fresher right so being a fresher how did you learn the skills that were required to get this particular role being a fresher i believe uh, r and d is very important research and development you need to do if you want to do something you need to do some research and development on that particular topic for example in my case i want to work in modern technology m e r n n that is mongodb express react js and node js So I found that it is important before learning modern stack you need to know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So what I did, uh, I used to watch YouTube videos on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I got some basic understanding from there, and then after that, I decided that I will now enroll myself in full stack development course through Intelshare. So after then, I completed that course, gave some interviews, and got selected. So this is what my journey was sir, after as a as a fresher. and getting a job after that so you are having a two year of gap because you were preparing for the upsc and i believe in this scenario it it would be very difficult to crack an interview so how was your interview look like so actually when i completed my full stack development course i was very confident that uh, in my first attempt i'm going to crack every interview if but it was not like that uh, i gave my first interview I was rejected within five months, uh, five minutes. Uh, the person told me that Rahul, you are not, you are not someone we are looking for. You are underprepared. So it was heartbreaking for me first time. And then I decided that I, I will, you know, apply for uh, every day. I will, I am going to apply for multiple companies for the job. And also, uh, my instructor, Sonam Ma'am, she told me that Rahul, you need to work on your fund, basic fundamentals again. So I did that. I completed my syllabus of JavaScript again, and. Uh, and then i decided you know to pursue the uh, to apply for the to apply for the jobs so i uh, so nearly about you want to leave that i applied for more than 20 companies on indonesia nearly about 60 companies responded to me and i set for nearly about 40 interviews the experience was very good but it is very important that you need to try and try again not every job is for you so after you know sitting for this much of uh, interviews i cracked some in, uh, internship opportunities and finally i landed a job it's a pre placement offer so you can say that uh, after cracking this interview uh, i also got a job so you have specified about the course that has helped you regarding your preparation in your preparation journey so how was that particular course did it actually help you for your interview preparation Uh, absolutely actually i believe that the course is very well structured and comprehensive in nature it provides you flexibility that if you if i want to study one hour a day i can study it for one hour if i want to study for 10 hours continuously every day i can study so flexibility is always there third thing is that uh, the real world projects for example like at my time the projects were e-commerce and social media site, uh, website for application you can say so it helped me a lot and the placement team also uh, they also provided me some uh, you know mock interviews during my uh, during my placement journey also some viva sessions and placement uh, mock interviews so it was very helpful to me also so it was really nice talking to you uh, the last question from my side so what is that advice that you would like to give to the audience to the students who are struggling right now to get a better job opportunity and to get into the corporate world for the students i believe who are struggling to get placed i believe that uh, it is very important to have some skills before applying for any job so please go for some sort of courses which provide you some sort of skills for example like in my case i was uh, 
pursuing full set development course in monster technology so when i completed this course i had you know more than 10 skills through which i can showcase myself on my resume which i showcased on my resume and it was very helpful i created my own portfolio website as well so it was also very helpful along with that uh, it is very important that uh, you know while uh, you know sitting for the interview you should always wear some formal clothes second thing is that you should know that how a psychology of a person who is taking your interview is working and what type of person is sitting in front of you and third thing is that please work on your fundamental basic fundamentals of the topics each and every topic for example like in my case i was working on my fundament basic fundamentals of javascript i successfully cleared those fun uh, basic fundamentals and ultimately then landed a job so this is all from me Thank <laughs> you.